Hello, my lovelies. Welcome to another Mega Card Monday. Today, I'm going to be working on a hunky dory Christmas card. I found these two days ago, and I thought, right, I really must do something. And I've been distracted by other things that have been going on in my life. So I apologize for not getting this up earlier in the day. But I've already embossed the in internal part of the card. So I think I'll put that piece in there before we go any further. That way I will know it is done. And if I was better organized, I would have had my Christmas stamps out and stamped on it before I put it in. But like I said, I've been distracted this week. Other things have been going on. So I do apologize for the lateness in publication of this video and also the lack of content. I would, however, in I was thinking of a word and I've lost it, encourage you to go along to have a look at Papercraft with Kay. She is also joining me in the Make a Card Monday hashtag. If you would like to make your life a little more routine and put up a video on a Monday <clears throat> showing you yourself making a card or even just showing cards that you've made I would welcome you with open arms to use my hashtag make a card Monday I would like to help other folks to grow their channels also grow mine a little and that way also we would have card making in on one tag spot and I think it would be absolutely wonderful so if you are a card maker and you'd like to join a little group there's no strings, no tags, or there is tags, there's Make a Card Monday tag, but there are no dead set requirements like you have to do this and you have to do that. No, you make your cards the way you want to do them. And if you choose to, you may certainly use my hashtag Make a Card Monday to introduce your videos with. I will give you credit every time I see you making cards. And I will put your channel link in my description as I'm going to be doing with Kay. And hopefully we will both have channels that grow. I'm just fussing around a little here. For some reason it seems to have been cut a little bit smaller. Oh, that's okay, because that little bit's around his face. It's all right. I'm with it. Only just, but I'm with it. Now there's the pom-pom for his little hat. As you can see here, I have got a few more hunky-dory cards to make. These are just beautiful graphics that just absolutely amaze me. Every time I, I open up a pack and see them, they're just stunning. Full gloss photo paper, cardstock. It is just gorgeous. Now I think I'll put his arm um, has got to go in there first before I put the extra piece of sleeve in. This is just going to be a very short video. And once again, I do apologize, but I just need to concentrate on family life for a few days more. Well, I always concentrate on my family life, but when there's things going on, you need to just concentrate a little bit harder on certain areas. Oh, I took them all off. <laughs> Not with it. Sorry. Hey, hey, hey. Now, Santa. Let's get you on here. Nice and neatly. I think that's about it. Beautiful. 
I love the 3D cards. They enable you to give some beautiful definition to the characters on your cards. And I was fortunate enough to be given a couple of these cards for each one. So two for this one that I was able to, to cut apart, which is wonderful. I must have been given three because I've got the this little fluffy sleeve on here too. I can see a little piece of foam sticking out here. Just with my tweezer, I'll poke it back in and hope it stays in. Okay, now I just wonder if I've got any Christmas stickers in my sticker pouch. Oh no, where have I put that? Oh, why have I done this to myself? What have I done? I put them somewhere different, now I've lost them. Oh, seriously, this is what happens when I have a little tidy up on my table. Things go missing and it's really, really frustrating. Okay, so I will put that aside for now. Let me pull out another one. Let me see what I've got in here first. I may not get this one done, but I will see. Oh, that's a paper print. Okay, they're gorgeous. I didn't investigate these properly, obviously. Oh, how wonderful. Look at those. Aren't they beautiful? Wow. I spent some time fussy cutting. I like it. I like it very much. These is, <laughs> look at that, hanging out his woolies <laughs> or airing them out. Let's hope it doesn't freeze overnight so he doesn't get cold bottom. He's awfully cute. These are just so gorgeous. I'm, I'm struggling to work out which one to do next. Whatever one it is, it's very, very simple. This Hunky Dory make these just so beautifully that you can just pop them onto the front of a card, put an insert in them, put a sticker on them that says Merry Christmas when you can find your stickers. I don't know what I've done with those. I'm, I'm really, really frustrated myself now. Really have. I'm quite annoyed. Oh well, can't stay annoyed for long. That's an envelope. I can't use that to put a card on, but I can not use that either. This one might do. Let's see if it'll fit. Oh, it's just a fraction too big. Oh, ho hum. And it is just a fraction. It is a smidgen of an inch off. Can you see that much? Just that little smidge. So, I think I will do some... Fine cutting, not with my scissors, because I'm not terribly good at that sometimes. Now I can trim a little bit down this side. And instead of taking the top off the Christmas tree, yes, I will take a little bit off the Christmas tree. Not that you will see it, it's just that it's going to get close to the top. Let's see if that measures up nicely. Also in my sticker box are some borders, which I would like to put around the edge. This is so darn frustrating. 
I normally have all my card making things that I, I sit here and do alongside me. And be darned if I can see them. I really have done a number on myself this time. <laughs> oh dear. I'm going to fume about this all day and I'm going to go on a, a, a mini clean. I'm not going to say massive because my cleanups are never massive. They're just sufficient unto the day. I need to take a little more off that because it is just a fraction too wide for my liking. I'm going to mess it up if I don't. And I think I'll also take a smidge off the gifts at the bottom. I'm really quite annoyed. Hmm. It's going to worry me until I find them. Because they are my go-to, but I haven't been using them this week. I've been doing something else that is going to wow you when I show you. And with that little teaser, I'm going to leave it right there. Because I don't want you to know too soon. This is just the simplest way I have ever found of making cards. And I think I'm going to be lazy and just pop one down the middle. Do have another one of those inserts ready that I will probably have to cut down as well. Oh no. No, that's going to fit in there. Beautiful. I love it when something comes together nicely. There we go. Okay, now the insert. And then, my lovelies, it'll be time for me to go and get this video published for you to have a look at. Next week, I will also be doing some more of these Christmas cards. So stay tuned if you want to see more. I think I'll use some of those cutouts. If I've got doubles of those, I'll build them up on a... A lovely coloured mat. Be a little more organised. And find my stickers. Oh, woe is me. Oh, such a problem. <laughs> okay, now I've had my whinge. I thank you so very, very much for listening to me and watching me put these two little quick cards together. See, card making does not have to be a worry. It doesn't have to be a chore. It can be something as simple as cutting out an old Christmas card and putting the front on top of a new one with a pretty little piece of paper on the inside, a little bit of embossing if you've got a machine, otherwise just stamp a border or use some fancy scissors and cut along the edge. Anything at all that will make your heart sing and make you feel as though you have achieved something is well worthwhile. But those are my two Christmas cards for this week, my lovelies. I will catch up with you on hashtag Megacard Monday next week. Bye-bye for now. God bless and keep crafting.